welcome. Hi there. Thank you guys so much for being on with me today. Soraya, hi. And Brandon, hey, from um, St. Augustine's, I'm guessing. And Lisa, hi. Robert, hello. I'm glad to have you here. And everybody that I said hi to on chat, uh, Heidi and Mary and Marty. Let's see. Who else? David is here. Carla, my early birds, Carla and Vicky. All right, here we go. Zave would like to say hi. He's a little bit of a mess. His hair's kind of a crazy. We're just going to go with it. Oh, hi, bud. Say hi to everybody. Oh, he's a mess today. <laughs> he got his first little fat lip today. It's not good. He was just standing or he was kneeling, really, and he kind of face planted. So it happens. But, guys, this is my son, um, Zave, and he is our little mascot here for singing class. He loves to sing sing also. Um, so one of these days he'll join us and sing with us. So Soraya, I'm so glad that you're here for the first time. We're going to have a really good time singing. <gasps> he always just likes to jump on and say hello while we're getting started. So yay. I'm so glad, Heidi. He's a pretty sweet guy, even with crazy, crazy hair. Is it, is it <laughs> oh, your grandpa's on. Your grandpa said hi, Zave. Oh, he's <laughs> waving. This is a new trick. He's waving. Wow. He's a really sweetheart. Um, so, guys, as always, if you are enjoying at any point today what we're doing, um, or if you anticipate enjoying, you can go give us a thumbs up on the video. That helps other people to find us. He's getting tickles right now. All right, Zayev, can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> Great job. Okie doke. He is off. That means it's time for us to get rolling. Yes. All right. Soraya, we have another friend, George, from France who joins us. And so it's late where he is, too. So you guys are like the, the evening crew. Um, yes. Hi, Karen. <laughs> yep. Zave's a cutie. So um, thank you guys for some of the thumbs up coming in. Spencer's here. Yay, Spencer. Awesome. We've got a good crowd today. I guess everybody heard we were singing some Elvis. So um, as far as announcements, I hope that everybody got a chance to watch our interview with Dr. Alan Cole this week. It was a really inspiring interview. He is just such a a neat guy. Um, he has a blog called PDYs. Um, it's a blog and like community. So that's a really cool thing you can look up. Um, we love that. So if you haven't, if you didn't get a chance to watch that, you can go back on our page and find that interview um, from Monday and you can watch that. And then exciting is next Wednesday, right after this class, we are actually going to be doing, an, uh, we're going to have a speech language pathologist actually from uh, the University of St. Augustine joining myself and Nina for an interview. So we'll get a chance to talk a little bit more about what we're doing here and have fun. Um, and then she'll also be able to give us some tips and answer any questions you have that pertain to vocal stuff. Um, so that should be really cool. Again, that's next Wednesday, the 27th, I believe, at 2 p.m. So it'll be right after our class. Um, so that'll be really fun. And then the last announcement that I have, I promise we're about to get started, is about our ambassador program. Um, so we are starting a new uh, Power for Parkinson's ambassador program. And we would love for you guys to get involved if you want to. Um, Basically, it's a way to help for you to help us spread the word about Powerful Parkinson's. Um, we're a nonprofit organization, and every single thing that we offer is offered for free. Um, as you know, probably on YouTube, there is an option that you can pay to have additional content. But all of our weekly live streams are totally free, um, and we make a bunch of other videos um, all the time kind of that are free as well. So we always have free content for you, um, but our biggest challenge is just making sure that everybody in the Parkinson's community knows that we're out 
out there and knows that our services are available to them. So that's where our ambassadors will help with that. So we will send you a little pin that says, ask me about power for Parkinson's and we'll send you some flyers that you can take to your local support groups and your um, neurologist appointments and all that good stuff. Speech language appointments, if you have those. So cool stuff. Um, hopefully Delaney at some point can put the link to the application form in our chat box. Debbie's back. Debbie, I'm so glad you're back. Let's sing. Okay. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a big deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just kind of center ourselves right here and get ready to use some powerful voice. Here we are. And again, feel free to open your eyes, keep them closed, whatever feels good and helps you to get centered and set your intention and get ready for class today. <sighs> Breathing all the way down into our belly. Nice. This time, bring the shoulders up with your breath in and out and down. Up and in. Out and down. Last one. Up and in. Down and out. Thanks, Delaney, for getting that link in the chat. We'll put it there at the end of class two so you can go apply for that. Roll those shoulders in a nice circle, forwards, backwards, whatever works for you. I encourage you, if you haven't already, to just hop up and grab a cup of water um, to have next to you so that you can Take a sip if you need it at any point today. Let's raise one shoulder, drop the other, feeling a little bit of a comfortable pull between the shoulders. And switch it out. We've had so many people check in on the chat today, which is so awesome. If you are lurking there, um, not on the chat yet, we would love for you to say hi. Let us know that you're here with us. Switch once more. And the last time, and shimmy shake it out. Awesome job. Let's take the head and tip over ear to shoulder. Feeling a little stretch along the opposite side of the neck. Roger and Patty are here, yay. Hi, Roger, hi, Patty. I'm so glad you guys are here to sing some Elvis with us today. Come on up, other side, ear to shoulder. Stretching it out, making room for a powerful voice, a powerful breath today. Utopian Mind, hi, remind me your name so I can shout you out properly. So glad you're here. Come on up and tucking chin to chest, looking down at the floor. Feeling a stretch along the back of your neck and the top of your back. Remembering to breathe, keep those belly breaths going the whole time. And come up. Eugene's here. Yay, Eugene. Okay, tip over. We're going to make a half circle. Leanne, Leanne, I'm so happy that you're here. Roll forward, chin to chest, and slowly and gently continuing to the other shoulder. Then come up. And tip ear to shoulder. Rolling forward. Other ear to shoulder. And up. Lovely. Take those hands, clasp them in front of you, push forward and round the back, making a lot of room in the upper body for expansive breath, big old puffy lungs. Good job. Awesome, awesome. Opening up and back. And Leanne, remind me then where you are checking in from. I always forget. So, I promise I'll, I'll start to remember. Um, I think you've been on our class once or twice before, so. All right. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Shake out whatever you need to shake out. Let's chew really big, start warming up those facial muscles. Over-exaggerating. Mm. Really good. Let's say E with a wide mouth, pulling the corners of the mouth to the sides. E, and then puckering and pushing forward. Ooh. E. Ooh. E. 
Ooh, E, and ooh. Lovely. Oh, USVI. Yes, Leanne. Okay. I'm going to remember that. I'm committing it to memory. I hope. <laughs> Sometimes I have mom brain, but I'm going to do my best. Okay. Let's say O, oh, which is a tall and long vowel. O oh, and ah, which is a big wide open. O, oh, ah. O, oh, ah. O, oh, ah. O, oh, ah. Lovely. All right. We're going to do our articulated breathing. So we're going to take a big deep breath into the belly all the way down. So it's not stopping right here. Right? So we want to have that belly expand like an umbrella. Okay? And if you're not sure if it is, Put your hands on your belly and you ought to feel it expand because that's our most powerful breath, the deepest breath that we can get. All right, so we take a deep breath. And on a normal, mm, in a normal speaking range for you, we're going to say, hey, 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 hey. And that last one, we're going to hold out. The ones leading up to that one, we really want to articulate with those core muscles, with the diaphragm. So we're Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hey, 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 hey. And then we've got that long, loud, sustained note. I don't want to see a lot of this happening. Um, so that's something you may need to, at some point, practice kind of in the mirror where your powerful voice is that is not straining these muscles in here, okay? Let's try it. Big, deep breath. We've got five of them, and the last one is held on a hey. Here we are. Hey, 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 hey. Woo. Hopefully you had a little bit more capacity than I did. I kind of cut it out early. Hi, Grace. I'm happy you're here. All right. This time, we're going to go up, pitch it up. So wherever you were, we're going to find a higher pitch. And we're going to do high, 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 high. Articulating with the diaphragm and holding the last one nice, loud, and powerful. The sustained notes are a really big bang for your buck thing that you can do and practice on your own. So here we go. Five of them. High, pitching it higher. Here we are. Hi, 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 hi. Awesome. Y'all are rocking it. Okay. This time we're going to do ho, ho, ho. Put on our little Santa hats, right? So, um, really big round sound and we're pitching our ho 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 lower so we started at a comfortable range we pitched our high higher and our ho is going to be lower so find a low tone for you let's do it five of them here we are big deep breath ho 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 Nice work. Give yourself a pat on the back. You did great. All right. Let's do a little bit of a scale. Hey, 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 hey. Hi, 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 ho. Hey, hi, ho. So hey on the way up, hi on the way down, and cap it with your ho. Okay? Here we are. Try to articulate this. Make it a little bit staccato, which means sharp and accented. Here we go. And breathe. Here we are. Hey, 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 hi, 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 ho, moving up. Hey, 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 hi, 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 ho, moving up. Hey, 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 hi, 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 ho, like the seven dwarfs, hi, ho, hi, ho. Okay, moving up. Hey, 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 hi, 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 ho. Last one. Hey, 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 hi, 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 ho. Beautiful. 
beautiful. All right, let's get into our tongue twisters here. So um, at the top of your chat box or down below in the description, there's a link, that link that says tiny.cc slash blah, blah, blah. Um, that link will take you to a document that has our lyrics on it. So you can either open it in a separate window on your computer. You can open it on your phone and have your computer open with us on it, vice versa. You can print it if you have that capability, whatever works for you. Um, but that way, we will have them also in the chat box. So if you don't have another way to view them, um, but I, I find it easier to view them on a separate document than in the chat. But whatever works for you, Delaney is going to get her little fingers working for us. So on the chat, here we go. Our first tongue twister is how many cookies could a good cook cook? So we really want to overemphasize all of these consonants. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? Cookies. Let's do that whole, whole two line phrase together. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? We have another two lines. As many good cookies as a good cook could if a good cook would cook cookies. These are crazy. The reason that we do our tongue twisters is not to feel silly, is not to feel stupid, um, but it's really to work on enunciating and articulating in a low stakes environment, right? So there's no judge here. There's no Simon Cowell. There's no jury. It's just us doing what we can, right? So um, really work on spitting out those consonants, okay? Let's do that whole thing and think through the words that you're saying and the meaning that they have. And that can help you to not get tripped up by saying so many um, rhyming words. So here we are. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? As many good cookies as a good cook could if a good cook would cook cookies. Whew. All right, Bob. Hi, Bob. Happy to have you today. Okay, we're going to speed it up just a little bit. So big deep breath. Stick with us as best you can. Here we are. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? As many good cookies as a good cook could if a good cook would cook cookies cookies. Woo! Okay, we've got one more. Fastest yet. Yay, Bob! Yay, yay! <laughs> All right, this is our fastest yet. Give it a whirl. Try your best. If you flub it, if I flub it, doesn't matter, right? We're doing our best. Here we go. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? As many good cookies as a good cook could if a good cook would cook cookies. Woo! Lovely job. Take a nice deep breath. Take a sip of water if you need it. We're going to move on to our second tongue twister. This one we've got our L's. La 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 la. Hi, Joan. Roberto. All right. Glad, glad to have you guys. Joan, yes. Always better to come in late than not at all. We love having you no matter when you show up. So here we are. A lazy lodger lodged with the landlord's lazy lodging lad. Got those LLLs. Here we go. A lazy lodger lodged with the landlord's lazy lodging lad. Second line. With the landlord's lazy lodging lad, the lazy lodger lodged. That second line is. With the landlord's lazy lodging lad lad the lazy lodger lodged all right let's do it the whole way through just at a normal comfortable speed here we go a lazy lodger lodged with the landlord's lazy lodging lad with the landlord's lazy lodging lad the lazy lodger lodged speeding it up this much okay maybe this 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 much okay here we go 
A lazy lodger lodged with the landlord's lazy lodging lad. With the landlord's lazy lodging lad, the lazy lodger lodged. Okay, warm it up, shake it out. One more, bestest yet, do your best, put on a smile, we got this, here we go. A lazy lodger lodged with the landlord's lazy lodging lad. With the landlord's lazy lodging lad, the lazy lodger lodged. We did it, awesome. Even if you messed up a line or two, a word or two, all good, you made it through. We're moving on to our third tongue twister. As a reminder, you can always come back and work on these later. Um, a fun thing you could do sometime is, um, especially if you're a member and you have access to multiple classes, um, you could go in and just do all the beginning tongue twisters and just have a heyday with all your tongue twisters. So the third tongue twister is, how many snacks could a snack stacker snack? Try that again. How many snacks could a snack Stacker snack. If a snack stacker snacked stacked snacks. All right. All together. Comfortable speed. Nothing crazy. How many snacks could a snack stacker snack? If a snack stacker snacked stacked snacks. My snack stacker is stacking Oreos. You can let me know what your snack stacker is stacking. Okay, here we go. We're going a little bit faster. A little bit faster, here we are. How many snacks could a snack stacker snack if a snack stacker snacked stacked snacks? Whew. Last time, fastest yet, we've got this, here we are. How many snacks could a snack stacker snack if a snack stacker snack stack snacks? Whew. I might have to go watch the replay to even see if I got that right. But I think we did. I think y'all are awesome. Good job. And we're moving right along to our warm up song. All right. Water, wet your whistle if you need. Our warm up song, this song is simple. It's Hound Dog because today is Elvis Day. So we've got, you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Same for the next two lines. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. So the melody should not really be an issue. I bet we've all heard this a thousand times. Um, hopefully. Let's do that first little verse one more time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. All right. Second verse. Well, they said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie. Yeah, they said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie. Yeah, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. All we're going to do with this is clap. That's all we're going to do. The first verse, we're going to clap on the twos and the fours. So instead of, um, we're going to start after hound. So you ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the now, when we get to time, we've got double time, five of them. Time, you ain't nothing but a hound dog. So after hound is when we clap. So it's hound is one. You ain't nothing but a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we've got the twos and the fours, the off beats. Thank you, Roberto. Yes, if you're having fun, you can always give us a little thumbs up. All right. So let's try that. And then the same thing. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Okay. So on each of those last ones, time, time, and mine, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So all we're focusing on today is getting this brain doing two things at once. We're clapping. We're singing. We got it. Here we go. 
You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Okay. When we get to the second verse, we are going to clap on the ones and the threes. So instead of, uh, well, they said you was high class, it's going to be, they said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie. They said you was high class. So I will let you decide which is harder or easier for you, the twos and the fours or the ones and the threes. But I will tell you that the ones and the threes are trickier for me. So we're going on the words. So the, the first verse, we're going after the words. You ain't nothing but a hound clap, dog clap. This one is, they said you was high class instead of high class. Okay? So we're clapping on the beat. Well, they said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Okay? So the hardest part is going to be the transition between those two verses, going from hound dog to high class. Okay. If you're confused and you're like, you're not doing anything different, you're literally clapping the same number of times, that's fine. If you are somebody that can think about the music with the counts and you can get the one and the three versus the two and the four, that's great. Um, clap with me, sing along, put a smile on your face, and here we go. The first one is twos and fours. Here we are. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Well, they said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie. Yeah, they said you was high class. Well, that was just a lie. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Woo! Give yourself a round of applause. Nice job. And let me know if you felt like the one and the three was harder or the two and the four. Bill is here. I'm so happy you're here, Bill. You're right in time. We're about to just start singing. So... Perfect, perfect timing. All right, well done all. Let's move right along into song numero uno. Okay, we have Can't Help Falling in Love. And Bill, I'm so glad that you're here for this because I can just imagine your deep baritone voice singing this song and I love it. It puts a smile on my face. So I wish we could sing together in person, but um, this will have to do. So first song we have is Can't Help Falling in Love. Yes, Robert, two and four is definitely hipper. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, the two and the four is definitely um, more of a rock and roll kind of rhythm. So here we are. We have wise men say so low, high, low, wise men say. Only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. This is a really nice slow song. So on our slow songs where you don't have to worry quite as much about keeping up with our lyrics, um, this is where I really want you to focus, especially much, that was a weird thing, um, I want you to focus extra on your power, your volume, and your tone. So make it beautiful and a full sound, okay? Um, 
Again, there's no judges here. So this is our workout. This is our vocal exercise class. So your workout is whatever you make it. Um, so if you're feeling shy about your singing abilities and you're only giving me a half volume, you're only getting half of your workout, right? Um, so I really want you to take this opportunity with our slowest song of the day to really work on that power and volume. Let's do that first verse one more time because the melody is going to translate over to future verses. So, wise men say only fools rush in, but I can tell falling in love with you. Perfect. Okay. Second verse is the same melody. Shall I stay low, high, low? You got it. Would it be a sin if I can't help falling in love with you? So if you'll notice on help each time, I'm giving it a little accent, a little push, um, and then backing off of it quickly. I can't help instead of help. It just gives it a little bit of um, interest, rhythm and interest. So if you wanna do that with me, I invite you to do so. Falling in love with you. Then we get to the little bridge. Like a river flow. Surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Three lines that have the same exact melody there, okay? Like a river flows, surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Then we're back to our original melody. Take my hand, take my whole life too. I'm speeding it up a little bit, but for I can't help falling in love with you. That accent was a little bit heavy because I was just kind of marking through it, um, doing it halfway, which I am telling you not to do, so I shouldn't do it either, but for our rehearsing purposes, it's okay. Um, but I want it to be long, but heavy uh, and short. Long, heavy, and short. Can you do that? Okay. If you were in my head, it would all make sense. But <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm not going to even try to explain that. I can't help falling in love with you. All right. Let's go one more time through that bridge like our river flows, and then we're ready to go. Let's see. Uh-oh, Bill needs a little help. Delaney's on it, Bill. Okay. Like a river flows, same melody, surely to the sea. Once more. Darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Okay, and then we're back at the very end to take my hand, take my whole life too, for I can't help falling in love with you. And then we repeat that line for emphasis and our big finish. All right. Make it sound beautiful. Um, this is your own personal con concert. Um, you're the star. So have fun with it. Get that volume. Um, don't write yourself off, count yourself out. Don't say, well, I can't sing very well or whatever. We're doing it. You're here. You're with me. You're doing it. So we are in this together and you've got it. Here we are from the top. Wise men say only fools rush in. But I can't help 
falling in love with you. Shall I stay? Would it be a sin if I can't help falling in love with you? Like a river flows, surely to the sea. Darling, so it goes, some things are meant to be. Take my hand, take my whole life too. For I can't help falling in love with you. Like a river flows surely to the sea. Darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Finish strong. Take my hand, take my whole life too, for I can't help falling in love with you, for I can't help. Falling in love with you. Beautiful! Give yourselves a round of applause. I'm giving you a round of applause. You guys sound fabulous. I just know it. I get the sense through the computer that you are just sounding so good. I love it. All right, we're picking up the pace now with all shook up. So we've got, oh, well, uh, bless my soul, what's wrong with me? So we've sang this before. It was many, many, many weeks ago, um, months ago, rather. We really have to get into like our Elvis. Yeah. So this is like getting our Elvis on. Um, so that's where you get the oh, well, uh, bless uh, my soul. You really have to get that like heavy heaviness that Elvis has, right? Oh, well, uh, bless uh, my soul. What's wrong with me? I'm itching like a man in a fuzzy tree. My friends say I'm acting wild as a bug. I'm in love. Pause. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go through that again. Really get your Elvis on, okay? You can do the lip if you got the lip, but I don't have the lip. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, well, bless my soul, what's wrong with me? I'm itching like a man in a fuzzy tree. My friends say I'm acting wild as a bug. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. So let's see. The next, you guys are so silly and sweet. <laughs> like, um, okay. So the next verse is really the same melody. Well, my hands are shaky and my knees are weak. I can't seem to stand on my own two feet. Who do you think of when you have such luck? I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joan <laughs> just said shaky hands. Maybe he had Parkinson's. He might, you know, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> okay. So those first two verses are the same melody. Then we get to this third stanza. Well, please don't ask me. And we change it up. Well, please don't ask me what's on my mind. I'm a little mixed up, but I'm feeling fine. 
Let's do those two lines again. Well, please don't ask me what's on my mind. I'm a little mixed up, but I'm feeling fine. When I'm near that girl that I love best, my heart beats so it, now we're jumping up, scares me to death. Okay, my heart beats so it scares me to death. Okay, so let's do that stanza because it's different. Here we go. Well, please don't ask me what's on my mind. I'm a little mixed up, but I'm feeling fine. When I'm near that girl that I love best, my heart beats so it scares me to death. You've got it. Then we're back to our original melody. Well, she touched my hand. What a chill I got. Her lips are like a volcano that's hot. I think that I wrote it wrong there. I copied it from the last time we sang it, but volcano that's hot will fit a lot better than a volcano when it's hot. Just sing. Okay. I'm proud to say that she's my buttercup. I'm in love. Wait, wait. I'm all shook up. If you want to give a snap or a clap for that, I'm in love, pause, pause. I'm all shook up to help remind your brain that we do take a little coffee break pause there. That's great. And then we're back to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then we have one more of the bridge melody. My tongue gets tired when I try to speak. My insides shake like a leaf on a tree. There's only one cure for this body of mine. That's to have that girl that I love so fine. So just like we did, when I'm near the girl that I love best, my heart beats so it scares me to death. Same thing here. There's only one cure for this body of mine. That's to have that girl that I love so fine. Perfect. And we finish with the same melody. She touched my hand, what a chill I got. Her lips are like a volcano that's hot. I'm proud to say that she's my buttercup. I'm in love. I'm all shook up, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm all shook up. Strike pose, big finish. We got it. Okay, we're on it. Lots of words here, but lots of the same melody too, right? So once we've got the melody, that's our building block. That's our foundation, and then we can just layer on the words. So I think you've got this. I've got this. We've got this. Here we are. Oh, well, bless my soul. What's wrong with me? I'm itching like a man in a fuzzy tree. My friends say I'm acting wild as a bug. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, my hands are shaky and my knees are weak. I can't seem to stand on my own two feet. Who do you think of when you... Y'all, pause, pause, rewind. I did that earlier when I was going through it. Okay, we're gonna start back at the top. Maggie's gonna do it right this time. Do as I say, not as I do as I teach, not as I perform, I don't, I don't know. Okay, we got this. Big smiles. Give me a snap or a clap. I think that might be what threw me off. So I'm going to back off a little bit. Thank you, Lynn. That's my dad. Okay. Here we go. We got this. <clears throat> From the top. Here we are. Oh, well, bless my soul. What's wrong with me? I'm itching like a man in a fuzzy tree. My friends say I'm acting wild as a bug. I'm in love. I'm all shook up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, my hands are shaky and my knees are weak. I can't seem to stand on my own two feet. Who do you think of when you have such luck? I'm in love. I'm all shook up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. 
please don't ask me what's on my mind. I'm a little mixed up, but I'm feeling fine. When I'm near that girl that I love best, my heart beats so it scares me to death. Well, she touched my hand, what a chill I got. Her lips are like a volcano that's hot. I'm proud to say that she's my buttercup. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. My tongue gets tied when I try to speak. My insides shake like a leaf on a tree. There's only one cure for this body of mine. That's to have that girl that I love so fine. Well, she touched my hand. What a chill I got. Her lips are like a volcano that's hot. I'm proud to say that she's my buttercup. I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm all shook up. That was like the pyrotechnics going in the background. Did you see it? Did you get it? Yeah. <laughs> awesome job, you guys. I'm only human. I mess up sometimes. I hate to tell you guys. Okay, but we got it. We came back stronger than ever and we finished it, didn't we? I love it. Okay. Let's rock and roll with our very last song of the day, Jailhouse Rock. Okay, this one has a lot of words. So the melody repeats, 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 repeats. So we've got pretty much the same melody just repeating a bunch of times, but those words are a tongue twister in and of themselves. So here we are. We start with the warden threw a party in the county jail. The prison band was there and they began to wail. Let's just do those two lines. The warden threw a party in the county jail. The prison band was there and they began to wail. The band was jumping and the joint began to swing. You should have heard the knocked out jailbird sing. Let's rock. Pause, pause. Everybody, let's rock. Pause. Everybody in the whole cell block, pause, was dancing to the jailhouse rock. So that chorus has a lot of pauses in it. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the whole cell block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. So when you do it, I'm in your lyrics document that is pinned in the chat in the chat and below in the description. Um, if you click on the title of the song, it'll take you to a karaoke track on YouTube um, that you can sing along with the backing track. And then these breaks and pauses are gonna make a lot more sense because there's instrumental in those breaks and pauses. Okay, moving right along. Verse two, same melody, totally different words. Spider Murphy played the tenor saxophone. Little Joe was blowing on the slide trombone. The drummer boy from Illinois went crash, boom, bang. The whole rhythm section was the purple gang. Let's rock. And we're back, okay? We've got it. We're going to go through each of the verses slowly-ish, like we are, um, just so that when we sing through it in real time, it's not the first time you're seeing the words. So we've got three more verses. We've got number 47. Let's jump to that. Number 47 said to number three, you're the cutest jailbird I ever did see. I sure would be delighted with your company. Come on and do the jailhouse rock with me. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the wholesale block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Okay. Sad sack, here we go. Sad sack was sitting on a block of stone, way over in the corner, weeping all alone. The warden said, hey buddy, don't you be no square. If you can't find a partner, use a wooden chair. So the last line of each of these verses is all one note. 
If you can find a partner, use a wooden chair. Let's rock. Yeah. So when you get to rock and you've got a new note thrown in, then you can really rock, really emphasize it. If you can find a partner, use a wooden chair. Let's rock. So think of it as you're kind of leading up, right? You're like leading up, leading up, leading up to let's rock. Yeah. Okay. Last verse, Shifty Henry. Here we go. Shifty Henry said to bugs for heaven's sake, no one's looking, now's our chance to make a break. Bugs, he turned to Shifty and he said, nix, nix, I want to stick around a while and get my kicks. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Okay. Are you ready? Got your dancing shoes on. We're going to have fun. Okay. Give me a tap, a snap, a clap, a something, unless it'll throw you off like it clearly threw me off last time. And then you can just sing. But I do want you to smile. I do want you to have fun. I do want you to take those um, over exaggerations and all of that into consideration. Now, you're not going to be able to super over exaggerate when we're singing because it's going to move too quickly, right? So all of your consonants and all of that. But because we've been practicing our tongue twisters and all of that in a slower, more controlled fashion, you hopefully have a higher baseline for your enunciation and articulation, right? So we really want to think about this being clearly because we're telling a story, right? And so if the audience, our audience, right? Like all of our fans, you know, because um, we're professionals. If our audience can't understand our words, our story falls to that. So Hi, Margaret Ann. Happy to have you. You're just in time for Jailhouse Rock. Okay. Let me see your smile. Even if it's fake, you can fake it till you make it. We got it. Here we go. From the top. The warden threw a party in the county jail. The prison band was there and they began to wail. The band was jumping and the joint began to swing. You should have heard them knock out jailbirds sing. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the whole cell block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Spider Murphy played the tenor saxophone. Little Joe was blowing on the slide trombone. The drummer boy from Illinois went crash, boom, bang. The whole rhythm section was the purple gang. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Let me see your moves. Everybody in the whole cell block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Number 47 said to number three, you're the cutest jailbird I ever did see. I sure would be delighted with your company. Come on and do the jailhouse rock with me. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the whole cell block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Two more. Sad sack was sitting on a block of stone. Way over in the corner, weeping all alone. The warden said, hey, buddy, don't you be no square. If you can't find a partner, use a wooden chair. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Woo! Everybody in the whole cell block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Last one. Shifty Henry said to Bugs for heaven's sake. No one's looking, now's our chance to make a break. Bugs turned to Shifty and he said, Nix, Nix, I want to stick around a while and get my kicks. Let's rock. Everybody, let's rock. Everybody in the wholesale block was dancing to the jailhouse rock. Yeah! Woo I hope I was not the only one grooving. Yes. Okay, Delaney. Delaney was moving along. I love it. Anybody else bust a move? Yes, Karen. I know. There's so many songs that we sing that you're like, wait, these are the words? Okay, cool. Um, who knew? I always, whenever I am out singing karaoke, which obviously we don't do anymore, but in, in days of your pre-COVID days, um, I would always have to like pull up the lyrics before I picked a karaoke song to sing to make sure that I actually knew all the words. So Carla, I'm so glad you had fun guys. 
that is our class for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, as always, hey, make sure that you're subscribed to our channel. Um, subscribing is different than becoming a member. So subscribing costs you absolutely nothing. Um, subscribing is just where you click the little button that says subscribe. And um, all that does is it gives you some notifications in your YouTube um, to let you know when we put new things up. Um, and it makes it easier for you to find us. Um, it makes it easier for other people to find us. Um, so always please make sure that you're subscribed. We have some kind of a statistic that like, I think 75% of the people that watch our videos are actually not subscribed, which is such an easy thing to do and an easy way to support us and all that good stuff. Um, so do that, give some thumbs up, put some comments under videos if you want. Um, that stuff all just helps with our engagement. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Carla and Robert and Karen and Margaret and Marty and Heidi. Um, we love having you guys so much. Next Wednesday, make a little extra time in your schedule because after class, like right this time. Thank you, Lynn. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> um, at this time um, next week, we're going to be jumping on and we're going to have a speech language pathologist joining us. Um, so she is going to just be able to answer more questions about why we're doing what we're doing. Um, and I'll be able to answer more questions. So you can think about what you want to know from me or from our speech language pathologist or from Nina about why we even have a singing program, whatever you want to know. Soraya, thank you for being here. I hope that you'll join us again. Mary, thank you. Um, if you want to join that ambassador program, find that link and send in an application. Um, we're not sure exactly how many people we're going to bring on for the first sort of class of our ambassador program, um, but we want a lot of people um, all over the place because the more widespread it is, um, the better visibility. Leanne, thank you for being here. I'm so glad. And tomorrow is Thursday. So at 11 a.m. Central Time, we have a strength and balance class with Debbie. So that's a really good one to work on, um, uh, to work on strength, resistance, weight training, that kind of stuff, um, and balance. And then at 1 p.m. Central, we have our rhythm and moves dance class on Zoom with Nancy. So Sharon, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for joining us. Yay, I'm so glad, Eugene. Um, and if you guys ever have suggestions or thoughts on songs we should sing, um, let me know and I'll do my best to learn them and have some fun. So um, I really appreciate you guys joining me. We had a great group today to our friends from St. Augustine. Thank you for sitting in. I hope you guys had a good time and have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week. And I will talk to you later. Bye, friends. See ya. Bye, David. Bye, Margaret Ann. Bye, Eugene.